Hello, I'm here on Shade Street, McDonald's and operatic buskers, or whatever you call them there behind me. Bear with me, in fact, enjoy it. Further to the uh, election, where I was standing in Wavertree, I uh, received 108 votes. Yes, it's disappointing, however, I did say, if you check my other videos, that it was highly likely Reform UK were going to take uh, my votes, and they, I believe they have. The U, uh, U, Reform UK guy polled just under 3,500 votes, which is excellent, right? I'm quite happy with that. If the vote didn't go to Joe Owens and it went to the Reform guy, then great. The Reform guy, okay, stop the votes, stop cut down on immigration, all the usual stuff. Great, great. Right, it, it, it's on the right path, but he's not dealing with what's happening locally, which is the cultural transformation of our glorious city. Right, it is being culturally changed. There's no ifs or buts about that. That is what is now happening to our city. All the same, I believe the vote, uh, the protest vote or opposition to further cultural change has gone to the reform guy. And I'm, I'm quite happy with that, right? It's not an ego thing with me. As long as there's been opposition in the community against further cultural change, whoever uh, received the votes, Joe Owens can live with that. Yeah, I, I wish it would have been myself, but unfortunately it wasn't. Right across Merseyside reform, I think polled something like 80,000 votes. Again, that's uh, opposition to cultural change, immigra immigration, the boats, however you want to term it. So that's quite promising, right? Liam Thorpe of the Liverpool Echo, after two years of asking him to interview Jones, he waits till I get a really bad vote and then does a hatchet job on me. Why didn't you interview me before the general election, Mr Thorpe? Well, you know why, right? And that shows lack of integrity, professionalism, even honesty, right? Shame on you, Liam Thorpe, believing now you can hatch a job on Joe Owens, going on about silly things um, I did 42 years ago. Historical irrelevance, as I call it, right? All the same, Joe Owens is a tough puppy. Joe Owens is going nowhere. I am still going to be here, Church Street, the heart of Liverpool city centre, bringing the awful truth to the good people of Liverpool. Keir Starmer will fail, right? He won't tackle the boats. Those ones here now will just grant amnesty. He won't curb legal immigration that's coming in from Heathrow, Gatwick, a, an unprecedented rate. Hundreds of thousands. He's not going to deal with it. But hey, sadly, people are just going to have to find out the hard way. There's two reasons. Okay, sir. There's two. Okay, mate. Cheers. There is two reasons. Sorry, I couldn't talk to him then uh, in the process of doing this video. A supporter. Great. Fantastic. Uh, there's two reasons why people here in Liverpool across Merseyside voted Labour. Not one. It's not because they love Labour, it's because they hate the Tories, and rightly so. And secondly, they've put their faith in Keir Starmer in the belief that he's going to stop the boats and he's going to cut back on immigration and whatever. It's not going to happen, right? So from now to the next general election, an awful lot is going to happen. Joe Owens will still be here. For his wonderful Scouts brothers and sisters, I will still be here. Liam Thorpe, I'm saddened by it, sir. You, you, you should have interviewed me before the general election. You didn't have the bottle to do it, did you? You waited until I got a rubbish vote and then you put the boot in. As I say, it shows lack of integrity, professionalism, even decency. Quite sneaky, really, what you've done. But anyway, Jones can live with that. You didn't interview me before the general election because you know why. Because my message would have resonated with more and more people. And whoever would have received that vote, as far as Jones is concerned, I'm not really bothered whether it's myself 
or reform, as long as there is opposition in the community to fear the cultural change, that will do me right. Jones isn't going nowhere. I am here for the good people of this city because I have to, if I don't, no one else will. And if no one else will, cultural change will sweep across our glorious city, changing our unique Scouse character traditions and cultural identity. On a final note, I am I'm really saddened by you, Liam Thorpe. I thought you were just going to completely, totally ignore Joe Owens, but you waited to see what Bowser got first, didn't you? Hey, and then you put the boot in. You didn't have the decency to interview me before the general election. Don't forget, I was all by myself. I got about 10,000 leaflets out by myself across uh, the constituency of Waverley. I probably needed travel that amount, but I was by myself. Uh, and I haven't got a political machine like Reform UK and I'm not as charismatic or well known as Nigel Farage, I suppose. So I understand people voting for Reform UK. I can understand that. Reform UK is on, on a roll now, right? So I understand that. I understand that. Right, they're not going to vote for it. A solitary guy like myself, as I say, that doesn't really pull that much weight yet. So they've opted for vote to vote for Reform UK. And like I say, I can live with that. But that's what I believe my vote has gone, or at least half of it, right? But all the same, right? I take all my knocks and bumps, because I'm a man, right? Jones is a tough cookie, not like you, Liam Thorpe. Wait until the election was over. Wait until Joe Owens got a bad vote and then kick, uh, put the boot in, you know? Oh, I can't believe it. I'm saddened at you, sir. But like I said, it shows lack of integrity professionalism and even decency and remember no to cultural change yes to scouse pride shout it out loud scouse and proud okay thank you hello i'm still here on shared street mcdonald's end let's take politics and elections out of the equation does anyone really believe now Keir Starmer's been uh, elected Prime Minister Britain. That cultural change in our city is now going to stop. Does anyone believe that cultural change long term is not going to have a negative impact on our city? Do people really believe that? You see, we have the crystal ball. Like I've previously said, we've got the crystal ball. We know what's on the way. We have witnessed this change to other major towns and cities across the country. We have the crystal ball, ladies and gentlemen. So take politics, take elections, take politicians, take everything out of the equation. It's irrelevant. We have the crystal ball. So it's on the way. Whether or not these politicians want to deal with it, accept it, acknowledge it, you have to bear with me, there's a new busker now starting up, so I'll keep this short and sweet. So, as I've said, it's really irrelevant. Politics, elections, politicians, cultural change is going to change our city if we allow it. Right? We have to oppose it, we have to stop it. And again, like I've said, the beauty, and I don't use that word lightly, or you, lightly at all, the beauty of this is... We have the crystal ball, ladies and gentlemen. We know what has happened to other towns and cities across the country and will happen to our glorious Liverpool if we allow it. I'm going to go now because another bus is uh, ready to start. Remember, no to cultural change. Yes to Scouse pride. Shout it out loud, Scouse and proud.